transparency is really at the core of this whole Paris Agreement. And that has several reasons, because without transparency, you don't know where you are. In red, you have that the emission reduction is defined as a reference level up here, minus the actual reductions that you have down here. So it's a gap between the actual emissions, say, for a given period, and the reference level for that period. Numbers kind of are biased because there is not a single number. There are many numbers of there, and you can create them. We've also heard about how, how this science can be manipulated by politics, politics in quotes. But I want to argue that not all politics are bad. Politics is about the world we live in, and we need to figure out how to engage between these worlds of politics and science. I think from a multi-level governance perspective, one of the most important things is that we need to learn to communicate and to collaborate better across sectors, across levels, and across different types of actors. So in terms of transparency and some of the recommendations from our side on that, it's, it should be seen as a great opportunity uh, because it builds confidence and legitimacy. Transparency can actually cause initial frust frustrations because it might need to rethink some of the ways monitoring and assessment has been done, but in the longer term, it actually enhances quality. Why transparency is very, very important for us? Because we believe that essential, uh, transparency is essential key to improve the forest governance to protect our remaining forests.